Our next stop with Jill Donovan, the dynamic mompreneur and creator of Rustic Cuff. She shares her full circle Oprah experience and tells how she turned devastation into the platform for her fabulous cuff creations. Tell me your whole Oprah experience. It had been one of my goals to go to the Oprah Winfrey Show. I tried for 10 years. I had her on speed dial and I never got through. And so I went on the website and on the website it said, do you want to be a guest on the show? And so I looked through the list of the things that they wanted you to be a guest for and the very first one said, are you a regifter? And I'm a chronic regifter, like a sickness. I started my own closet, so every present I'd give or get, I'd put it right in this new gift closet. So Even I, if you didn't like it? Oh, monogram stuff, I, everything, <laughs> everything. I didn't care, the, right before the show started. There's been a little change, but you're gonna be sitting on the couch with Oprah, the two of you. Did you wet your pants? I wet my pants, so I had to go change. <laughs> they had to change clothes for me, it was great. I was gonna to get to tell the whole world how funny I was. I was a regular guest on the show before the show even started. And so, you know, I just saw my name, like Dr. Phil is like Dr. Jill. I just knew that I was, I was gonna be a regular. So let's turn this over to our experts, Carrie Marsh and Kim Itzo. They're the authors of The Fabulous Girl's Guide to Decorum. Is it rude to re-gift or not? Well, I hate to say it, but yes. No. It's not just rude, it's kind of tacky. No. It seems like a twisted form of recycling you've got going there. Are you an environmentalist? Oh. Uh, tears, like, I, if I blinked, the tears would come running down. Really on the stage there, I was dying because my dream of being a regular on the show and, and for the world to know how funny I was died right there. And both of them had a unibrow, and I so wanted to criticize them right there for the unibrow. But I couldn't. I couldn't. I went home and I gave every single thing on that shelf away. So I had these empty shelves, totally set empty for years. I decided, I got up in the middle of the night, I'm like, I'm gonna create something to put on the shelves. I've always had this obsession with cuffs, with bracelets, but more, really like big cuffs. You know what, I am gonna teach myself how to make a cuff. I'm gonna pick like my top 15, 20 people that I like in the media, and I'm going to make them like six cuffs each and set it in an incredible box that said rustic cuff. I decided to send some to Gail King. Just sent a note and said just, you know, wanted to send you some fun stuff your way. Then all of a sudden, I turn on CBS this morning and she's wearing it. And I'm like, no, I'm seeing things, there's no way. And last week, um, it came full circle and it was a cover of Oprah and she was standing there and she had on this rustic cuff that I had sent to Gail. And I have no idea if Gail regifted it or <laughs> how they got it, but she was wearing a rustic cuff on Oprah Magazine. And it just, talk about surreal, feeling like it was happening to somebody else. Does it feel like like, a, like winning? You know, I don't know that it feels like winning or success. It just feels like anything is possible. If I was on the show, humiliated, embarrassed, and what I thought was the most devastating feeling at that time, I look back and I think, okay, if that didn't happen to me, I may not have emptied my shelves, and then I may not have had this burning desire to start something again to fill those shelves back up. In someone who's in the drought like that, yeah. what's your takeaway to them? Two things I would say that if you can just remember these two, um, and I love these things so much that I actually just put them engraved on a cuff because I wanted to remind myself, this too shall pass because everything does, and embrace your journey. Now you have this international business. Yeah, in three years. A little three years' three time, years. Mm -hmm. you, this thing was born, and now mm -hmm. it's on the cover of Oprah. Yeah, I love every day is like summer camp to me. Never a job, feels like a candy store, feels like it's just fun. I'm so in love with what we do. You are organically this kind and coming mm -hmm. from the heart, mm -hmm. and it's coming back to you. I mean, yeah. it's a living example of what kindness does. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Okay. Oh Thank God. you. I love you. Oh, I love